coming to the company knowing that we had to repurpose the commercial business. Um, in the back of my mind, the grand idea was to bring back the heritage of revolvers that we had at Cole. And I remember distinctly, I was in a shop in, in Minnesota and I passed on a Python back in the mid 90s and it was kicking myself ever since. But when I came to Colt, you know, part of it was how could we bring back the Colt revolver story? It was really important for us to not only bring something back, but we wanted to bring it back with the aesthetic of the original guns from Colt. But we also want to improve on the guns, so we wanted to make them stronger. We wanted to have some of the similar features like clockwise cylinder rotation. We thought it was very important that even on a small frame like the Cobra that it be a six shot cylinder like our heritage. So the idea would be could we bring it back with the aesthetic of the original guns, but bring it back with a better action, bring it back with better sight structures, better grip, better ergonomics, and that's what we set out to do. So part of the magic of the new Colt Double Action Revolvers is, is really where the design meets sort of modern manufacturing. And what that means is um, certain parts of the revolver used to be moldable pieces and um, you know the ratchet assembly is, is a good example of this. Now that's, that's a single piece. Um, because we've got things like multi-axis CNC equipment that can hold much tighter tolerances. And part of that modern technology has allowed us to build a revolver that really is closer to what Sam Colton envisioned, which is an assembled uh, process to, to build these firearms. So in 2017, we released the Cobra. It's a small frame, 38 special uh, revolver. I, you know, the idea for this revolver is really uh, sort of a defensive carry gun. Um, we did this purposefully. It's easier to it's easier to scale up than it is to scale down when you're designing the action in particular. I said originally, how can we create something that everyone could shoot? And I'll see people at a, at a firing line for the first time with a small, lightweight, airweight type gun, and they're putting you know defensive plus P ammo in it, and it's not a very good experience. They don't get through the box of ammunition. So for us, it was purposeful. Even though the history of the Cobra was a lightweight alloy frame gun, we wanted to make it a steel gun and put it at 38 you know, special plus P rated. That way you could shoot really volumes of, of 38 and even plus P ammunition comfortably. And so I think we really got to a great sweet spot in terms of shootability, but also especially for new shooters. It's been a tremendous success for us, of course. Uh, so much of a su success that after about a year and a half, we transitioned into upsizing that into 357. And we called it the King Cobra. The, the name of that product isn't necessarily tied to the heritage of the, the King Cobra of the past. They're two very different products, um, but it, it's a small frame 357, fully stainless gun. Uh, and again, that six round capacity, uh, just like the Cobra. We started testing and a lot of test firing on that 357 caliber. And what we were finding was original thoughts were around using the original Cobra frame and we knew we had to make it a little bit beefier. So you'll notice that there's a slight size difference in the King Cobra from the Cobra. Generally speaking, they have the same grip structure, but the top strap of the, the box of the, the revolver is much bigger and broader and stronger. Um, we test fired the, the heck out of that gun. We ran 12,000 proof loads through uh, King Cobras and we saw almost no uh, apparent frame stretch in the product. So these products are stronger than any revolvers. We knew that going in. Those King Cobras are actually stronger than the original Pythons in terms of the rigidity of the steel we're using as well as the size of the top strap. So for us, the King Cobra was the next necessary step. We knew there was people that wanted to take a more powerful gun in field. We felt that the King Cobra, it really fits for what most consumers want in a 357 Magnum. Quality really starts with the design and then it, it flows into the manufacturing space and you check it in assembly, but, um, but it's really the design of the revolver itself that sets you up for that success. And fortunately, we've got a great design team working on these double action revolvers and, they've, and they set us up so that uh, when we assemble these products in the end, they're a quality product. I can say, whether inside this building, outside, industry experts that said, Paul, 
uh, it would be a huge mistake to come back with a python. There's such a huge amount of enthusiasm, excitement. The resale market was, you know, you, people were buying pythons for three to five thousand dollars on the. And um, my thoughts were that's all true, but I really knew that there was a consumer that never got to experience that legendary trigger or a trigger like that in the balance and the shootability of a python. So. I really knew we'd be commercially successful in bringing it back if we had the right feature sets. This is not your father's or your grandfather's Python. This is a better gun. It's stronger. It's made with modern machining capability. The action is smoother. There's less parts in the action. The reason we could do that is we redesigned the action. So, this gun, in testing with 25,000 double action cycles on a machine without any wear or breakage, I did a lot of test fire on this gun. We shot 15,000 rounds of 357 Magnum. We measured everything on it, to the, from the forcing comb to any stretch in the frame that might happen. There was none. We were able to make this frame actually about 35% stronger than the original one. You know, we'll have customers day in and day out call on the customer service lines that they swear that the gun's got a crack or that there's a scratch on the gun and we explain, well, that's where, is it, are you at the top of the, that's where the faceplate is on the gun. And they, they don't realize how well these guns come together in terms of their fit. So um, the Python has just been um, a huge success right from day one. Um, couldn't be prouder of that in terms of Colt and its recovery into the revolver business. The Anaconda, honestly, is, is it's a, as important to me as any ones that we've done up until this point, and, and here's why. The Anaconda for, particularly hunters, they had arguably one of the worst triggers in this you know, coil spring mechanism we had in the original Anaconda. The beauty of the gun was, it was unquestionable. It was very Python-looking type of gun, just a beefier version. But the trigger was so poorly done, especially in double action. But now to be able to bring an anaconda with arguably as good of mechanism as we put in a leaf spring python and upscaled it into an anaconda, now you have something really special. So this is a, it's a leapfrog step where the python consumer in the past had a really good experience. They're going to have a better experience now. There's no question the Anaconda is going to be the best experience in a 44 Magnum you'll ever see from Cole.